how to write beautiful finger picking songs with an Apple Sound Guitar VST starting right now. Hi friends, it's William K and I'm back for another video. If you haven't done so, you can subscribe to the channel so once a week you get a new free tutorial video on how to play and write songs with Apple Sound products. But how can we write finger picking songs with Apple Sound acoustic guitar VSTs? Finger picking is a very popular technique used in many genres, but it can be a tricky thing to program since it requires a precise work on velocities and articulations. But in this tutorial video, I'm going to provide you with some presets and with some guidance on how to use those presets and how to customize them properly. So stick around, because if you do, you'll be able to play something like this. So how to play finger picking songs with an Apple Sound guitar VST? Well, as usual, we need to think about what would happen on a real guitar and we need to do the same on a virtual guitar. On a real guitar, a finger picking song would start with a chord progression. It can sound a bit obvious, but it's the first step towards a good song. So in the first example, I went with a A minor, an A minor seven, a G major and an F major. In the second example, I went with an E minor, a C major 7, a G major, and a B7. And the second step towards a good finger picking song is to find a pattern. A pattern is the order in which you choose to pluck the strings, but that is not enough. A pattern can be anything. It can be a root note, first string, second string, or root note, first and second string plucks at the same time. It completely depends on your creativity and your taste. But the major rule to follow is once you have your chord progression and once you have your pattern, you need to start playing that pattern and keep on playing the same pattern over and over, even when you switch chords. Finger picking is all about repetition and structure. And the melody mainly comes from the pattern and the chord switches. So I'm going to write another song with you and I will explain what to do with the presets I've made for you. And after that, well, you'll be on your way to writing music masterpieces. So before we start, make sure to have loaded the finger library of your Apple Sound acoustic guitar. If you play finger picking with a pick, it's going to sound a bit fake. Now, there are several ways to design finger picking with an Apple Sound acoustic guitar VST. The first and the easiest, but also the less flexible way is to use strummer. The big advantage is that you just design one chord progression, one pattern, and to that you have a song. So I've loaded the uh, pattern number one that you can find in the download folder, and I go with C major, E minor, and A minor. And let's see how it goes. tricky thing here is to be extra careful with the root note. Indeed, when you play a C major, the root note is played with string number 5. But when you switch to the E minor, the root note is played with string number 6 and so on and so on. So you gotta change it in a strummer. And the easiest way is to open a second pattern, import everything from pattern number 1 and just modify the position of the root note, just like this. 
And if you do not know how to program strumming with Apple Sound, I do recommend you to watch my tutorial on how to strum an Apple Sound guitar. And if you already have watched the tutorial, then uh, you just have to find a chord progression in the chord bank, load the pattern in the strumming grid and just press the start button. Now, Strummer is not really suited for arpeggios, as its name indicates it was designed for programming guitar strumming patterns, not arpeggios. And indeed, you have way less flexibility than in MIDI. In a MIDI notes editor, uh, here you can see the same song but programmed with a different interface, it's becoming way easier to adjust velocities. You see, if I select all the notes, uh, it says that my velocities are comprised between 30 and 60. And that is really important because a real guitarist won't pluck the strings uh, with the same exact intensity all the time. But uh, I give you the MIDI file so you can study it and customize it. And obviously we can do it in Riffer. If you are a guitarist, it's a very intuitive interface. So here's the same pattern programmed in Apple Sounds Riffer, but with different chords. So if you want to customize it, just click on the notes and drag them up or drag them down. And let's check this out. Now let's check out the second pattern available for download. That one is a real classic for guitarists and it's kind of well suited for country or western music genres. So have a listen. So as you heard, it's a bit of a classic, but it is never failed. So as we said earlier, if you go with Strummer, then just open the presets in the strumming grid and design a chord progression. Watch my video on how to strum an Apple Sound guitar and be careful with the root notes. If you go with MIDI, then you need to learn how guitar chords are built, but the process will stay the same. And if you go with Riffer, well, just drag the notes up or down and customize it as much as you want. And well, though it's a classic finger picking pattern, you can get really creative with it. So here's an example. Okay, pattern number three. Now, this one will enable you to write finger picking songs that have a bit more energy. Example.
Okay, so that would be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, well, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any difficulties with the presets, well, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. And if you want more resources on how to play with Apple Sound VSTs, well, you can watch that video, which will teach you to write a riff in Riffer. And that video will provide you with some tips and tricks on how to make your Apple Guitar VST sound more realistic. You can also subscribe to the channel because once a week I'm uploading a new free tutorial video on Apple Sound VSTs.